The mini star and bio star use positive pressure, which gives you superior adaptation to your model, ensuring the accuracy and fit of your appliance. These machines can significantly reduce your lab expense by increasing the variety of appliances you can do in-house. Most of the Technique videos in our Resource Center feature the BioStar because that's what we use in our commercial lab at Great Lakes. For most dental practices, the MiniStar is ideal. You can use the MiniStar to fabricate the same extensive variety of appliances that you can with the BioStar. The invisible retainer can be made using the pellet or platform methods. When using the platform method, the model base should be reduced using a plaster trimmer. This will limit the material stretch and thinning along unnecessary areas. Liquid separator is applied to the teeth and tissue areas of the model. The pellet level is adjusted to allow the model to be elevated above the cup's rim. A model reference 3 mm below the gingival margin should be level to the rim of the pellet cup. Pellets are poured around the model to fill gaps to the rim of the pellet cup. Sweep excess pellets from around model. Pellets should contact model 3 mm below gingival margins and extend to the rim of the pellet cup. The most common invisible retainer material is the Invisacryl A or C type of 030 or 040 inch thicknesses. Invisacryl A is the firmer and clearer of the two materials. It possesses great thermal forming characteristics with a short heating cycle. Invisacryl C is more resilient than the A type material, but does not have the clarity or superb thermal forming characteristics. Heating and cooling times are increased compared to the A material. When using Invisacryl A, a film must be peeled from each side of the plastic. Then it is placed on the pressure chamber and clamped into place. Enter the heating time or BioStar code into the machine. Swing the lamp over the clamp material to start the heating cycle. At the end of the heating cycle, remove the lamp from the material. Swing the chamber over the model in the pellet cup and lock the chamber in place to start the forming and cooling cycle. The material should be cooled under pressure for two minutes. At the end of this cycle, evacuate the pressure from the machine. Unlock the chamber and clamped material. Swing open chamber and remove form material and model from pellet cup. Some pellets may stick to the material. Scrape them back into the pellet cup with a lab knife. Cut out the form plastic while on the model with a 3 quarter inch lightning disc and lab handpiece. Start by cutting from the outside edge of the disc towards the model's heel. Cut behind the last tooth on the arch. Then cut the plastic along the inside of the model at the pellet junction. Continue to cut plastic behind last tooth on opposite side of arch. Trim along outside heel area and to the outside edge of the disc. Pull plastic to remove from model. Finally, cut plastic along outside surface of model at the pellet junction. Pull plastic to remove excess from model. Remove form template over teeth from model. 
Trim the retainer border to the gingival margins using a carbide taper burr and lab handpiece. Also trim ends to the distal marginal ridge of the last tooth on either side of the arch. A miniature satin buff or coarse dymo wheel is used with a lab handpiece to smooth trimmed edges. These technique videos, along with the other information on the Resource Center, can show you how to get the most from your machine and how to ultimately take control of your lab bill. Maximize the potential of your mini-star.